Um, let's talk about this Xiaomi concept because it was kind of interesting. What do you want to break it down? Because it was first like a leaked thing, and then it was it was yeah. confirmed, and now Xiaomi's teasing it a little bit. Yeah. So Ice Universe on Twitter, or I guess Universe Ice, as he always usually does. Um, mm, sorry, I just like how the tweet the tweet in here that you screenshotted has the official mark. Oh yeah. It, so I is... screenshotted it this morning before it was taken away. Incredible. Yeah. Uh, so he leaked this screenshot of this basically Xiaomi 12s Ultra which had a full Leica lens attached to the back of it. And everyone started like freaking out. And pretty soon after that, Xiaomi officially put out their concept phone, which is the 12, the Xiaomi 12 S ultra concept. Uh, effectively, it's like exactly what you would think where they added a second 1.0 type sensor to the phone. Mm -hmm. And then that sensor is not covered by any rear elements. It's not covered by any glass. Okay. It just has the sapphire glass over the top of it. And then there's an adapter that sl slaps onto the back of the phone, and then you can put a full Leica lens on top of that. Yeah. Um, so you're basically just like condensing the light with way more glass with a full Leica lens to get a better image, which adds a lot of different things because things like depth of field are a function of the amount of Z depth that you can have between the sensor and the lens. Yeah. So, I mean, you're gonna get better image quality, you're gonna get better like real depth of field instead of like bad portrait mode and all mm -hmm. this stuff. And I think they just mostly did this because they have that new partnership with Leica now, um, because Huawei and Leica are no longer best friends. Now Xiaomi yeah. is Leica's mm -hmm. best friend. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I don't know. I think that Xiaomi likes to move fast and break things just like Twitter. And uh, they create a lot of random stuff. Um, so this seems very interesting. We have uh, we've seen other stuff like this before. Yeah, sort of. Like we saw the red hydrogen, mm -hmm. which is what which we all, the the beautiful well. giant stinker of the yeah. red hydrogen um, <laughs> that was which, allegedly someday going to get. That's something the problem. Like this. Was it, like it was supposed to have a module? I think that would have a sensor, and then that sensor would be able to put a lens on it. We never got is that any modulars. I think that's what it was because the regular yeah. camera sucked on it. Because I remember I was really really excited because I used to use all Fuji cameras and Fuji lenses, uh -huh. and it, that was part of the compatibility list. It was that you could use like. Like Fuji lenses. Like I think it. they originally said a couple uh, of like ideas. modules that they were going to have, but there was nothing to go directly lens onto the smartphone camera aspect of it. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And no, none of that ever actually got made either. No, and they, they they kept promising to me because I made my first review video and there was like one module, I think, the, the, the pins on the back of the phone. And I was like, yeah, so there's no modules. If you're going to like sell the phone with the modules as a feature. Maybe you should have like a couple first party modules out and they're like, oh yeah, trust me, this next one's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be the camera thing. That never happened. But one, the other one that I that I thought was cool is what Sony did a couple years ago, which was an Xperia smartphone that had, it was again, it would attach essentially an entire digital camera to the back of the phone, but it was in the form factor of like just adding a lens to the back. You would attach it with a bracket when it touched the back of your phone, it would pair to your phone via NFC, mm -hmm. and your phone is basically a Bluetooth viewfinder for this nice sensor with nice glass. That was kind of cool. Yeah, uh, It didn't sell. Most people just use their smartphone cameras anyway, but it was kind of cool. So it was like the Samsung Galaxy Zoom, except you ripped off the zoom lens yeah. and made yeah. it separate. Yeah, And then it's still like nice glass, I guess, is nicer glass, <laughs> but this is like you're using yeah. glass that people are actually using this on like Photo cameras. Nice cameras. Yeah, these are seven to eight eight thousand dollar lenses. That's <laughs> so yeah, crazy. It's yeah. not like a, a five dot six to f eight. Like yeah. I yeah. think the most important thing about this is that it's a concept, and there's a lot of baggage that comes with the word concept. One is like when you go to CES and you see a bunch of concept cars, you have no expectation of that car ever coming out. Right? It's like a test thrown out into the winds by the manufacturer to just see what people think. Mm -hmm. And maybe they'll make something like this someday. But this is not a real product. Two, I don't think this will ever be a real product <laughs> because there's a bunch of things that are obviously very tough about it. It's more expensive to do something like this. The, the 12S Ultra already has an incredible camera and it's also a very expensive phone. And so to make this adjustment to it and sell it and sell lenses would just be a crazy expensive system, at which point you might as well just buy a camera, which most people will do. And then there's the physics question, which is a sensor this small with glass this big letting in this much light would actually create an effective depth of field of maybe like one to two inches. It would be an incredible shallow depth of field. Yeah, super shallow. So you get a lot of light in, but your your profile, your your 
picture of a face would be like the tip of the nose would be in focus. Yes, you'd have to shoot open. at like F12 all the time. Yeah, it'd be tough. Yeah. So there's a bunch of reasons why I think it's going to be a concept, and it's like Xiaomi going, oh, we thought of something, and we're not going to make it, but we did kind of put all this work into engineering samples. Let's just like share the concept. Yeah. Remember the OnePlus concept yes. phone yeah. at CES that one year? It basically, oh. it took, um, it had that special, in that glass that can darken using yeah. electricity, electric current, and it basically created like an ND filter over the lens so that you could do long exposures and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, they made a whole fuss about this, but of course they never launched it. That was actually this, the first time I met you guys in yeah, person that was. too. Because I left my tripod oh, <laughs> oh, at, at the one plus room. event. Yeah. I yeah. was on the other side of Vegas and I sprinted all the way back that and was I like showed up. Sands and I was like, or like <gasps> something, a different hotel. And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that was fun. That but was um, yeah. it, it, this is kind of cool and it, it doesn't look like they have to do that much, you know, like for a concept, the Xiaomi 12 already looks like this, right? It's like a circular camera bump. It's so close. it's not that much different of a form factor. I would say, though, I agree with you. I don't think we ever see this. At best, this is going to be like, what was that one Sony Xperia that was like $2,000 and was supposed to be essentially like paired with an A7 and be like the extra viewfinder? Oh, yeah. Xperia Pro. Remember? Xperia Pro. The Pro. This yeah. feels like, at best, could be one of those like insanely niche, like, like you're someone who has a like a camera already like you have these lenses so you don't have to pay a bunch for these but if you're bringing those lenses you're probably bringing your camera already right yeah, yeah. if you have to pack like two or three of these lenses yeah that's enough volume in your bag for the what camera body a nice camera not that much yeah. more and yeah. like a cameras are already fairly compact as it is so yeah. yeah i mean the kind of cool thing about this is a lot of mirrorless cameras are effectively just computers you know, this is yeah. why I want like so the Hasselblad UI on the back of their cameras is pretty good and like pretty smooth, but I keep saying like the Samsung Galaxy camera was ahead of its time because what we all really want is our phone, which we're really used to, to take mirrorless incredible like photos that we see all the time with shallow depth of field and everything like that. So we keep trying to combine them and like, what if we bring like a lens from this world and just mount it on the back of our camera? And it's like we want the great cameras, but we want the UI of our phones. Yeah, It's like, if we find a good way to merge the two, we'll be set. I think what we need to do instead of building onto our phones is bring the phone UI to a nice camera. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Basically oh, make absolutely. it run Android and have a nice camera. Yeah, they all, all the UIs on all cameras, most cameras suck. Yeah, uh, so except much for like, like Hasselblad and Red, basically. Uh, this sounds so much like legacy car manufacturers. <laughs> I was going to say that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's three things you can count on the UI sucking, which is cameras... <laughs> In in car infotainment yeah. systems and printers, it's those <laughs> uh, yeah. those three things. They'll never be good. There's yeah. just there's some law of the universe that prevents them from being kill good. all yeah. printers. Yeah. So I will say um, that I think that using physics to take photos is pretty much always the way, and that we in a lot of ways we have over computational photography our way into too far. You think? Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hipster. <laughs> I mean, I don't photo? know if you look at if you look at modern pixel photos, they're mm -hmm. like over sharpened and over contrasty, and that's just because like the hardware in other devices is getting better and the sensors are getting bigger mm -hmm. to the point where you don't need to lean into that processing as much. Like it saved bad processors or bad sensors, yeah, but it doesn't need that as much anymore. Obviously, like you guys said. If you're going to already carry around these lenses, which are huge, yeah. it doesn't really make a lot of sense. But mm -hmm. I'll play, if I play devil's advocate, yeah. I think, and we're, this might be a spoiler alert, we're going to do another blind smartphone camera test this year. And I have a feeling the ones that do a lot of computational photography are going to do well. Yeah. And that's like kind of what people, it's like appealing to what people want to see yeah. in, their, in their eyes. So yeah. it's like in order to get closer to the ones that have the physics advantage, you have to do computational photography. But it is, yeah, it is debatable. Like, are they going too far? Is it just bad computational photography? I don't think it's bad. I think it's just that what use we used to think was good now feels bad compared to everything else. Mm. I think it's just like comparatively. Yeah. But that's, this is also coming from someone who like, I, I want to be able to do a lot with my pictures. And yeah, you know, so anyway, cool concept. Cool concept. Cool concept. We'll see if uh, Xiaomi follows up on it at any point in the future. I really want to hold one. Yeah. This entire thing in one hand. The yes, phone is there's already... a photo of it in, in the dock. Yeah. It is 
<laughs> the center it of, looks like a bang. The center of gravity on that thing is probably just the lens. Yeah, you're, uh, just, you're like, like, you probably just hold the lens and you just tap true. the screen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, thanks for watching this clip. We appreciate you. Hope you got your uh, your badges all sorted out on Twitter. I think for this clip's outro, though, let's uh, throw it to the producer camp. Like and subscribe. Fifteen percent of my diet is Cholula. <laughs> 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 That'll do it. <laughs>